Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Carry this revelation, and you will not be scared of anomalies. The moment you see things that are not right, you are not scared. The person who has the cleaner and the person who has the pencil, who is greater? The person who has the pencil can write everything. That's why sometimes you allow children to write nonsense on important documents, provided they are using a pencil. They can go ahead and explore their creativity because in one moment you can wipe it away and it does not look like anything was written. So sometimes when you see God majestically coming into your life, you are like, Lord, Satan has been writing for too long. It doesn't matter. Once he arrives. How long did it take the power of sin to trap people? But in one moment, the blood of Jesus came. And with one single sweep, it got it out of the way. Say amen. amen. What is the power of God? Number three. Is God helping someone? Yeah. I like this third description. The power of God is his agency for enforcing compliance. The power of God ay, 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 is his agency for enforcing compliance. Compliance. As I just said, compliance, I just saw like fire. This is what I just saw. I just saw like fire. This is what when God starts showing me things like that, it's not because that's when he started working, but he's only showing you because he's doing something in the life of someone. Hallelujah. His agency, write this down, for enforcing compliance. Follow carefully. I'm going to give you three scriptures and I want us to study them carefully. His agency for enforcing, please underline enforcing compliance. Luke chapter 4, please, from verse 31. Watch this. Hmm. Compliance immediately suggests that there is a possibility for rebellion. Am I right on that? When you pass laws, you put systems, even within society, when the senate or the house or whatever when they finally pass a law there are usually systems through agencies that are put together that becomes the eyes of the law am i right on that and their assignment is to insist that there must be compliance and came down to capernaum we're reading luke 4 31 uh-huh a city of Galilee and taught them on the Sabbath day Jesus now the Bible says and they were astonished at his doctrine for his word was with power and the Bible says and in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice he was disrupting service say let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us i know thee who thou art the holy one of god we're reading to 37 and jesus rebuked them saying i love this hold thy peace and come out of him and when the devil had thrown him in the midst he came out of him and hurt him not say compliance the Bible says, and they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. Other versions say, and they obey him. And the Bible says, the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. Let me tell you the truth. The zenith of power and authority is when you speak and there is obedience. Is one thing to speak Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2 and 4 Jesus God himself gives us his model of power the Bible says and God said verse 3 
there was darkness and chaos and all of that god said let there be light and your bible says there was am i right on that and the bible says god saw the light that it was good and it divided the light from darkness so when you make decrees and then there is rebellion to your decree it means your power is questionable am i right on that yeah. obedience to instructions obedience to decrees is how you know that power is available within a place am i right on that yes and my bible says and thou shalt decree a thing is it in your bible and it shall be established unto you in fact it says where the word of a king is it says there is power what kind of power power that compels compliance the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that satan is very stubborn just because scripture says it does not mean he will obey not without force it is written I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for signs and for wonders in Israel. Satan does not care. Even to Jesus, he came and stubbornly came and was wasting his time. And Jesus said, get thee, Satan. He came to Peter and tried to manipulate Peter. And Jesus looked at him and said, get behind me, Satan. Is that true? Compliance. There are many believers who say things and it looks like devils and demons and situations and circumstances just tell us and say by what power for instance the sons of skiva what they said was right but the power that enforces compliance was not there we adjure you by jesus and he said jesus i know paul i know i always add my name joshua selman i know he says but who are thou From today you will speak and you will see it come to pass in the name of jesus in the name of jesus that you can look at situations and circumstances and say peace be still was that not what jesus said why are you so fearful oh you of little faith he said the bible says he got up wiped sleep from his eyes and spoke to the wind and to the waves and said shalom be still the bible says there was an instant calm and the disciples marveled and said what manner of man is this that even the wind and the waves obey him obey him bringing everything to the obedience of christ do you believe what i'm telling you jesus sends the disciples two by two the bible records and they went and returned back rejoicing you know what their joy was they said we are shocked this thing that used to happen to you has started happening to us too that even the devils were subject to us in thy name and jesus laughed and said that that don't rejoice over that but rejoice that your names are written in the book of life but then that they rejoice there is nothing as powerful as the realm of the spirit being obedient to your word it enforces the fact that you are a king indeed and let me tell you when there is a track record of your speakings coming to pass in your life and that of others that is value that men will never even leave you alone they will pursue you to the cave they will pursue you to the mountains because they have learned that the word of god like samuel is upon your mouth and for samuel the bible says none of his word fell to the ground say power, power. Hmm. the centurion comes to jesus the equivalent of a captain in the army and he says please come my son is sick unto death and would you help me and he said no you are a, a noble man in the army i will respect you and come to your house and the centurion gives us a very strong lesson that jesus himself acknowledged the centurion said you do not need to come under my roof for i am a man under authority in other words when it comes to do with power and authority i understand i am under the authority of the government of rome and on account of that authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say to one come and he cometh do this and he does and i know that you are not alone you also came under the authority of heaven so speak the word only and jesus said i've not found this faith in other words who taught you this where did you learn this no not in israel he said Ah, the believer has such a phenomenal advantage ladies and gentlemen that i can stand from this pulpit and speak without going there the actual location 
because where the word of a king is there is power the president of this nation or any noble leader across the globe they can sit down and issue a statement sometimes you they don't even have to speak it is in writing provided they append their signature there it becomes law there are many things who have been telling situations and circumstances but they have not been able to come to a point of obedience because we have not realized that the power of God is and has the assignment of enforcing compliance Satan get lost and he says who are you talking about me you know how old I've been here and then you say it's true it's true so what do we do about this now no. if you use your own authority as a believer you become cheated immediately but remember the Bible says blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord hallelujah so do not wonder when you see demons and infirmities and situations obey that you can look at someone with no job and say in the name of jesus i open the two lift gates of lagos that that which belongs to you must find you and the person returns with a testimony it is called compliance i hope you know that creation has an ear my bible says let everything that hath an ear listen he that hath an ear let him hear and the prophet will speak and say o f hear ye the word of the lord you just see it as a an extended mass full of dust but in the realm of the spirit everything can hear it is one quality animate and inanimate things have biology and science will teach us from a scientific standpoint that they are living and non-living things and we respect them we'll keep it so but i can tell you from a spiritual standpoint there is no such thing as non-living the concept of non-living only exists within the frame of science everything can hear the word of the lord everything in fact everything can hear it just depends on who is speaking that means your situation as it's not only you that came to the church your situation is also listening to this sermon you are not the only one who is listening remember when the prophet was talking with the woman the jar of oil was hearing too i have nothing except and i'm sure the oil was saying but i've been here and the prophet said you think you are the only one i'm talking to you go and borrow vessels borrow not a few and watch another audience in your house that you're not even aware of the oil began to multiply everything can hear everything can hear barrenness can hear everything can hear retrogression can hear everything and when the lord speaks even by his power there must be compliance in the name of jesus christ number four very quickly has god helped someone already what is the power of god finally the power of god is his agency for bringing salvation his agency for bringing salvation i said i was going to give us three scriptures for enforcing compliance let me just give us the two remaining we will not read it but i'll just give it to us please write for reference matthew 8 24 to 27 matthew 8 24 to 27 and then psalm 66 verse 3 i'll take it again matthew 8 24 to 27 and psalm 66 and verse 3 now number four his agency for bringing salvation say salvation salvation, salvation here is not just limited to the new birth experience salvation is deliverance in its entirety are we together it comes from the greek word soteria it captures within it healing deliverance lifting breakthrough anything that sustains the ability of cutting to cut you away from that which stands as a resistance is called salvation acts chapter 4 and verse 33 let me request that we read together when we have it projected acts 4 33 ready one to read it says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection uh-huh and great grace one more time and with great power 
gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon them all thank you god bless you please be seated the bible says with great power not with great stories with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection that means it took more than an intellectual discussion to prove the validity of his resurrection it was with great power great power great power romans 1 and verse 16 here's what it says romans 1 and verse 16 i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ he says for it is the power not just that it has the power it is the power of god it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the jew first and to the greek what is the power of god the agency for bringing salvation salvation for the lost salvation for the downtrodden i sat quietly as i listened to our precious people testifying freedom liberty from depression and as they mentioned all those cases you know quite frankly i wasn't really focusing on all the story i just wanted to know what and what i would deal with from the stories they were saying <laughs> so i wanted to hear okay i hear depression i hear this i hear that because they must bow today today in the name of jesus christ salvation what does it mean to be saved to be rescued from danger what does it mean to be saved to be taken to a place of safety where you are far within the grip of danger and evil that is what salvation means first it starts with the lost but it does not just end with the lost even believers who are saved the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower am i right on that it says the righteous so they are already righteous but they can run to it and they are saved because there is still another kind of disaster the devil will want to bring even upon the righteous in fact the bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord by this power delivered him from them all from them all many are the afflictions of the righteous i've often said that it is not unusual for believers to have challenges it is defeat that is unusual it is not unusual for believers to have challenges many are the afflictions of the righteous but victory is what the word of god guarantees and the power of god is the principal sponsor for the believers victory hallelujah the great power of god acts when you read acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34 just write for reference excuse me acts 16 25 to 34 just write for reference the bible talks about paul and silas that at midnight they prayed and they sang praises unto god loud enough for the prisoners to hear them then when you read on the bible says suddenly there was an earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and the bible says immediately all doors open and everyone's band was loose from his hand you read down to 34 and you see that as a result of that mighty manifestation the jailer and his family came to the saving knowledge of jesus am i right on that the jailer took a sword and wanted to kill himself and paul said peter said no 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 do not harm yourself paul my, my apologies do not harm yourself we are all here and he said wow what then do i need to do to be saved and that gave room for the gospel i teach our school of ministry students and one of the things when we discuss evangelism one of the strategies for evangelism is evangelism by power there is a dimension of evangelism that happens on account of the supernatural manifestation of god's power i've had the honor and the privilege to preach this gospel across region and nations by the grace of god and i have seen many run to jesus when they see because according to act to john chapter 4 and verse 48 john 4 48 it says except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe except ye see signs and wonders i read stories of men and women many who have joined the cloud of witnesses like tl osborne rw shanbach 
Reinhard Bonke of blessed memory and these great men who served the purposes of God with all their hearts, they took more than a message to the nations. It took the, the coordinated effort of the message and the power. One more time, the message and the power. The message and the power. Let me show you one last scripture to buttress on this point and we begin to pray. Acts chapter 8, beginning from verse 5. Acts chapter 8 and verse 5. I love the Bible. The Bible says, Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. What did he preach? Christ unto them. Verse 6. The Bible says, And the people with one accord, they gave heed to those things which Philip speak. Why did he get that attention from them? Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. You may have heard me say it and I'll repeat it again that the Christian experience was never supposed to be heard alone. Don't just keep saying God is good. There has to be an experience that backs that statement. You can taste and see, not just hear and assume or hear and doubt. You can taste and see. The goodness of the Lord has an experience to it. For unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many that were taken with palsies and that were lame were healed. As a result, verse 8, there was great joy, great joy among the, the foundations of Sapphire. There was great joy at the king's court. What was the basis of the joy? That as a result of this conference, look what God has done. Look at the mighty manifestations, open doors, reconciliations. This is the kingdom. When Jesus sent the disciples in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1, and then we'll go to verse 7. Let's look at Matthew 10 verse 1 and verse 7, just to add one more scripture. And when he had called them, unto him his 12 disciples the bible says he gave them power am i right on that he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases verse 7 he says as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand but don't stop there verse 8 validate your speakings by healing the sick cleansing the lepers raising the dead casting out devils freely ye have received freely give this is the gospel that you say jesus is able to do this then by the investment of his power upon your life there becomes a performance and a manifestation you know let me tell you the truth growing up i wondered why people seem to be cold towards the gospel I watched sincere preachers preach and they would sweat and shout sincerely so and at the end of it with such a large crowd after almost begging you see one person just stroll out as though he was just coming out to sympathize with the man of God and he does not even recite the salvation prayer and I said come on no this cannot be God yet you can know by the spirit not by condemnation that there are many sinners in that meeting you look left you look right they're all there and yet with the altar call none of them comes out and i said i think the missing key i researched and i found out by scripture and experience that for many it was because there was no demonstration no demonstration no demonstration i have seen and sometimes I get full of tears as I make the altar call and you see all kinds of people including the most like unlikely people run to Jesus run to the cross in total genuine surrender you will know that their coming out was sincere genuine because by their personality they are not even the kind of people who embarrass themselves to come out like that but when the power of God is put on display it can swallow up the pride of any man and bring them before the cross if you believe that say amen. amen and i strongly believe with all of my heart that even today will be no different amen. that there are people whilst you are listening to me you will know by the conviction of the spirit that it is time for the power of god to do its work in you bringing you to that saving knowledge yes for the bible says there is no other name given unto man by which we must be saved the name of jesus that's what God 
is presenting to us more than the miracles of healing and the rest the greatest gift god gives men is himself himself greater love had no man than this than a man laid down his life for his friend am i right on that i just feel stirred in my heart to do the altar call before we pray that for the sake of someone in this place i know that yesterday we had the altar call but there is no taking chances when it has to do with the life of god listen ladies and gentlemen this is beyond a call to christianity this is beyond just a church activity jesus christ proposes his own life his own life you have trusted things of lesser value you have so wholeheartedly surrendered yourself to things of lesser value that had no track record of preserving you it is wisdom to give him a chance to manage your life for the bible says i know whom i have believed it says and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed he only keeps that which is committed unto him the lord jesus brought you here this afternoon to make a conscious decision for jesus now the beautiful thing about god is that it is within your power to reject him you can as an act of your own volition reject jesus that means you can sit down and say i have heard the word intelligently communicated but i choose as an act of my will to reject you jesus he will respect your choice except that you will only be scheduling seasons of pain and tragedy both in this life and in the life to come for the bible says what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul many have left and they left without making this noble decision this according to scripture is the wisest decision that any man can make in this side of god's kingdom and the holy spirit the lord of the harvest himself is giving you an opportunity i know you came to receive your prayer requests are in the basket and they'll be dealt with shortly but i'm presenting to you afresh jesus christ the one you rejected yesterday he peter while speaking on the day of pentecost said let it be known to you that this same jesus that you have been crucified has today been exalted as lord and christ the bible says when they heard him they were caught to the heart and they said men and brethren what shall we do peter replies and he says repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive this promise he said for the promise is unto you and to your children your children's children as many as are far off even those that the lord will call the spirit of god is hovering around this place convicting people and that includes the person watching in your home the one watching probably by way of rebroadcast in your office across the globe jesus is calling you this is not a christian's call this is jesus calling i will count one to five like i did yesterday i don't know who needs to be bold to respond to the call of the spirit to say apostle i'm not going to be ashamed i will come and stand right here before the people of god i begin my counting now leave your seat and come and stand right here nothing to be ashamed of you are coming to jesus the lover of your soul one please stand for sake of space two is this the best we can do to encourage those coming? There is only one name. Come. There is only one name with power to save. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. Power to save. Hallelujah. Come, come. No matter how far, make your way to the front. With power to say. With power to say. I rejoice over everyone who is standing here we used to sing a song in the seminary when we all
get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus we'll sing and shout a victory I appreciate every one of you for the courage to come and stand before Jesus the Bible declares that whoever is not ashamed of him before men that he will not be ashamed of you even before his father I salute you for the courage you are standing here not before a man not in front of a church you are standing in front of the throne Jesus himself the king the lover of your soul seated on that throne now you're going to be given a green card the counselors will hand you over a card and I will press request that after your prayer you will take the time to fill the card legibly this is so that they can follow up on you and just help you to stand as far as the knowledge of God is concerned but I want to lead you to make this noble decision I presume that some of you are rededicating your lives to Jesus it doesn't matter if this is your first time or a rededication you're most welcome please lift your right hand above your head as a sign of surrender and I want you to say this after me and when you say it mean it from the depth of your heart mean it from the depth of your heart you're not reciting a poem this is unto Jesus himself say Lord Jesus one more time say Lord Jesus I have heard your word I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my life as my Savior my Lord and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from today and forever I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never amen please keep those lovely hands up I'm praying for you now father thank you for this once the Bible declares that no man cometh to the father except by him and it says blessed is everyone that the Lord causes to approach him these have come by the leading of the spirit I declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven in the name of Jesus and I declare that you are bona fide recipients of the life of God based on the authority of scripture I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over your life Amen. the appetite to rebel against God and his ways leaves your life now and any demon spirit that ties you down keeping you bound I declare you are released right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are a child of God a son and a daughter in the kingdom to the glory of the name of the Lord you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus mighty name I pray amen and amen God bless you so here's what I want you to do for me just one more instruction I'll please request that you follow our mother and the counselors will have a word with you and you quickly come to join us as we pray over the requests now let's celebrate them as they go thank you thank you thank you let's celebrate them as they go it's a new season for them I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But now, O oh Lord, I'd a shield for me.
we're about to pray three things now that i'm going to do number one is we're going to pray and cry and say father my life is barren of genuine spiritual power let power from on high that empowers me to be a faithful witness bringing creation bringing correction compelling compliance and bringing salvation to my life and then through me to others you're going to cry desperately like blind Bartimaeus cried when that power comes upon your business it will do what it was sent to do when it comes upon your family to do what it was sent to do you're going to open your mouth and pray no distraction looking on to Jesus you're going to pray from the depth of your heart go ahead and pray power from on high Lord release power upon my life upon my Christian experience power that causes me to pray power that causes me to serve the purposes of God power that breaks every addiction power that breaks every infirmity someone pray in the name of Jesus the son of the living God power that translates me from a failure to a victor in experience Shalaga branta ke parako sadash karos kada branta ke parako shalekre ke berete ke parusiata engrata ke parako shalekre te bereko sada branta kada. Someone is praying. Power from on high. Power from on high. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah hallelujah and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all I have seen what the power of God can do not just in terms of miracle signs and wonders it takes power to move forward he says Moses tell the people that they go forward they were stuck the Red Sea before them Egyptians behind them defeat was imminent but not when power came he said tell the people to go forward and with one blast of his nostrils he parted the Red Sea hither and thither and the Bible says they walked on dry ground hallelujah now we're going to pray over the requests but I want to take a minute or two to minister to you. So I want you to pray. That which must live your life now, not tomorrow. That which must live your life now, not later. I'd like you to agree with God in prayer. It lives finally. Is it that shame? Is it that reproach? Someone pray. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Remember, we discuss here extensively on how far God is able to go on account of his saints and that he desires that his power be revealed in the midst of his people. this plague this infirmity you must live my life now hallelujah I remember I once prayed for a woman very interesting thing you know how a cancer patient who has gone through chemo you know how sometimes they lose their hair this is what was happening to the woman and she had never gone through chemo just like that wonderful beautiful woman began to lose beauty and color because of some demonic thing her hair literally started falling and they went to the hospital and they could not diagnose medically that there was anything wrong there is no limit to how far satan can go to cause pain to believers but the bible says for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one hallelujah let me pray for the sick now i want you to lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand for yourself you can stand for your loved ones and i want you to believe we're out of time 
but i'm going to do this very fast and i want to minister to you my god i sense such a strong anointing here just lay your hands wherever it is you are trusting god for a miracle please don't allow the devil lie to you and say that's how they prayed for you that day uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. leave that day now you are in his presence lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest or your head you can stand in for your loved one whether they are in the hospital wherever they are jesus something special supernatural about your name jesus something happens when thank you jesus he gave us power to pray for the sick to release people from all kinds of bondages and this is why he sent us even here and as I pray for you I want you to shout amen and I'm going to ask you to check yourself don't be ashamed don't be afraid you will marvel and wonder at what the power of God is able to do bringing you healing I'm seeing someone literally burning like fire burning the person from feet to head and it is a process of cleansing it's a spiritual cleansing that is happening at the end of that experience you will find out that every infirmity that has plagued you is living right now living by the spirit of the living god living by the spirit of god now in the name of jesus the son of the living god the resurrected king i decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity, I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus. I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus. I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus. Everyone sick in body, I declare, be healed now believe it be healed now migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now there's someone god is healing you have frequent urination this can become an embarrassment sometimes you can go to ease yourself so many times and it's something that you've it has embarrassed you again and again the lord is healing you right now the Lord is showing me someone you have very severe pain around your joints not just your knee but your joints I don't know if it's something that is related to your 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 genotype or something but in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is bringing you healing now bringing you healing now bringing you healing now in the name of Jesus I've seen this case before and I've prayed on it I don't know what program quite a number of times you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating producing breast milk in the name of Jesus I don't know what the medical condition is but I declare your healing now your healing now there's someone you have some kind of skin infection in fact your back it looks like eczema but it has refused to go this is what I'm seeing in my vision there's some skin infection irritation sometimes it pains you um, it itches you very discomforting itch you will know you are healed because the itching stops now the itching stops now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ there is a man here God is showing me a condition this is a condition that is common to men and this is something that 
if not dealt with sustains the ability to destroy even your marriage but i'm praying healing right now supernatural healing for you high blood pressure goes down now peptic ulcer goes down now if you have any loved one who is in the hospital in the name of jesus i declare cancer dies from their body cancer dies from their body cancer dies from their body healing for kidneys in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a woman you keep taking in and it does not get up to four months there must be a miscarriage and this happens when you have a dream and you start bleeding and that's the end of it i cause that devil now in the name of jesus christ i'm still praying omnipotent father of mercy and grace in this place you went to take your bath and water entered your right ear and from that day till today you still feel as if your ear has not been released it's not like you are not hearing but you know how you feel when there's water there's someone like that with that condition the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now you are not able to bend over backwards properly because there is excruciating pain just at your back right here in the name of jesus i decree and declare that after this prayer life and healing comes for you life and healing comes for you now the lord is showing me someone there, there's somebody here there is a particular food you cannot eat the moment you eat that food is like rashes breaks out of your body i don't know what food that is now you are not able to eat the moment you eat it there is a reaction in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching you right where you are right where you are you have severe pain heart your heart you are having a serious problem if you lie down on this side and you wake up it's as though blood is not pumping properly in jesus name that manifestation of the spirit of death i cause it from your life now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the resurrected king be healed be healed be healed right now be healed by the power of the holy ghost be healed now the lord is showing me someone ah, i need to pray for you because with what i'm seeing your entire respiratory system is under attack it looks like cough or catar but there is a build up of a lot of things from what i'm seeing this is affecting you because sometimes when you lie down you have to use your mouth to breathe you can't use your nose to breathe this thing can you wake up in the night choking the person i'm talking about in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that plague of death leaves you now that plague of death leaves you now that plague of death leaves you now in the name of jesus even though i'm praying for the sick for now but the lord is showing me someone's case so i will announce it there is a serious problem you have in your place of work it looks like a group of people just came and ganged up against you for things that you cannot remember doing and i need to pray for you because i'm seeing a board sitting on your issue and they are signing a letter that you should be relieved this is what i'm seeing but in the name of jesus god reveals to redeem i don't know i don't know who has that situation but we call upon the god of heaven let mercy prevail over judgment let mercy prevail over judgment in the name of jesus let mercy prevail over judgment by the power of the holy ghost now here's what i want you to do i'm going to ask you to check yourself we're still going to do some more prayer but i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that you were part of the case that i mentioned or you can do something now you couldn't do let's just have one or two testimonies and then i'll be ready to minister deliverance and to pray over the sick i want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you don't be ashamed don't be afraid make your way to the front as we celebrate you right now
check yourself do what you couldn't do hold on i'm seeing someone um this is a periodic occurrence and you were told that it happens when it is rainy season you start having boils at specific parts of your body this is what i'm seeing your legs and sometimes you know your armpit and the rest are, this is what god is showing me certain boils start coming out and they say that it's associated with rainy season in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but i want you to know you are healed now the power of god is touching you right now to the glory of the name of the lord now please check yourself very quickly and make your way to the front right now but i want to speak to someone whose name who is messy messy i'm hearing the name messy is there someone with the name messy i just want to pray over you messy do we have someone with that name mercy you discuss your problem with somebody and when you discuss your problem with somebody you agree that god will visit you in this conference and i want you to know that god is a prayer answering god you believe in the power of god i'm going to pray for you mercy there is someone god is showing me you are a sickler i'm a sickler you are wearing black you are a woman black with red i'm seeing black with red is there you are not a young person or like a is there someone like that my sister i hope you are not embarrassed please don't be embarrassed this is a family of faith it's not it's just a description not this god ba Father, I'm praying right now. Mercy. Let me start with mercy. God brought you out here. This is incredible. I'm laying hands on people, but the person the power of God is falling on is in the crowd. Please, when you find that person, I want you to bring that person for me. There is a mighty impartation that is happening to someone. I'm praying for people here, but the person that the power of God is falling on is somewhere in the crowd and when that happens please i want that particular i know that there might be a number of people but i want to pray for that particular person it's like a tsunami a rain of god's anointing is going to rest upon you in the name of jesus please when that happens let me have that person okay our ch you brought our children too okay no problem since they are here we'll stand in for them mercy in the name of jesus i am praying for you that every planting that is not of god plaguing your life in the name of jesus the son of the living god let it give way now everything associated with witchcraft my sister please look at me tap this woman for me the lord is saying i should tell you remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold i do a new thing i do a new thing in the name of jesus christ please bring them here I declare the power of God in the name of Jesus. Where is the person? There is a gentleman here and also a lady. You are trusting God for scholarship, full scholarship. This is what I'm seeing. I, I presume that many people are praying, but this person... This is a full scholarship to go and study. This is what I'm seeing. This is something you are aware of. It's not something you are praying for now. It's been a project because it is impossible with, with what is around you. No, just lift your hands. Who is that person? Ah, our mommy is coming. Okay. Oh, you are standing for someone. Man. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Praise God. Okay. We are going to pray. You'll be surprised. You'll return back with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, I stretch my hands over you, your home. Let there be a miracle right now. I release you from every orchestration of witchcraft. In Jesus' name. 
now let me pray for my god bless you let me pray for my people with the with the um genotype the, the, for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy i've i've had the honor and the privilege of praying for people especially our precious ones when they have all kinds of crises and it's not a nice sight i'm telling you for some of them is literally like they are standing between life and death i don't know why the holy ghost brought this to but you see the thing with god is when he speaks to one he speaks to all he's the one who knows the pain and the burden that people came here with hallelujah thank you jesus father i stretch my hands upon our precious people right now i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of god in your body right now let it go right now i place an anointing upon all of you and i declare let it go we declare a change of genotype we declare a change of genotype we declare a change of genotype change helper please we declare a change of genotype by the power of the holy ghost and in the name of jesus every devil every spirit connected to bloodline and ancestry that wants to trap you including our little ones here at this conference we declare that you are released now in the mighty name of jesus by the power of prophecy i declare that this crisis comes to an end in your life in the name of jesus christ and for the ones trusting god for scholarship like god revealed to me i declare prophetically you may not see the wind you may not see rain but may my god raise helpers for you 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 in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ have you found that person under the anointing i want to speak who is that person this lady where are you from my dear huh i'm going to pray for you father there is a reason why you brought this your daughter i decree and declare that everything that has to do with witchcraft connected to benin 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 paraso kela subrandi gebalasu kiatapas i'm seeing a wind blowing right now the power of god is moving across is it's like a deliverance that is happening i'm seeing the power of god moving now let's not litter the place but please i want you to bring for me the people under the anointing right now i stretch my hands everyone who has been under the yoke of witchcraft and every kind of satanic manipulation in the name of jesus let that fire let it rest upon you now and bring you deliverance let it rest upon you now and bring you deliverance let it rest upon you now and bring you deliverance let it rest upon you now and bring you deliverance in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me the feet of people tied I'm seeing it tight so that you cannot move. That means you are stagnated and there is no progress. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, please bring them out if you can. I decree and declare at the count of three, may I request that you shout Jesus, that name that is above every other name. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Out of their lives now. Release their destinies now. Release your 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 destinies now. In the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. It says, And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I declare, Be released now. 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 Hear me. 
every power of witchcraft sitting on any destiny here in the name of Jesus may that fire fall now may that fire fall now may that fire fall now every altar that has spoken against the purposes of God in your life I command that it gives way now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ let them go now release their destinies now for the bible says he who the son sets free he says he's free indeed is free indeed is free indeed free indeed free indeed hear me there are people here under the sound of my voice you keep seeing things but your hand never reaches them just when you are about to grab them something comes i decree and declare whatever stops you from receiving i stand upon the grace that backs this commission and i declare be released right now be released right be released right now be released right now, be released right now. by fire be released right now be released right now be released right now. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray and break people free from all kinds of addictions. All kinds of addictions. Addictions that have tied people down, tied their destinies down. You want to serve the Lord, but here comes these addictions. I'm praying right now that anyone under the sound of my voice and following who has been a victim of any kind of addiction at the count of three may that fire come upon you and break that appetite one two three break 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 addictions break addictions break addictions break addictions break in the name of Jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ ladies and gentlemen please hear me hear me the Lord is bringing liberty to these people the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession for all of you who are in front here I declare by the blood of the Lamb be free right now be free right now be free right now be free right now by the blood of the Lamb every legal case that Satan has over you we plead the blood be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the name of the Lord can I pray for those trusting God for jobs you don't have to come out but I want you please believe in miracles God is not a herbalist but there is a name that is above every other name let me pray right now anyone here trusting God for the miracle of a job you don't have to come out right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare between now and the next three months may my God surprise you 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 in the name of Jesus and if you are standing here for any of your children I declare shame is terminated permanently 
hallelujah the lord is showing me is asking me to pray there is a family where marriages never work the people must return back to their parents homes i don't know where that family is but in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit responsible for this demonic thing it is against the will of god let it be broken now broken now broken now hallelujah now i want to say something don't be embarrassed is is that the lord is asking me to say it don't feel bad I, i'm not condemning but there are two ladies here you don't have to come out you are living in a house with a man that is not your husband you are not married to i don't mean to condemn you after this service go and pack out of that place get out of that place be a responsible lady if you want to see the hand of god there are things you must do I, I'm, I'm saying it because god has asked me to say it. go and get out of that place in the name of jesus christ and trust the lord to help you and show you mercy because you would destroy your destiny and i assure you it is pain being programmed in your life hallelujah 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 the lord is saying rebuke the pattern of death rebuke the pattern of death reduce the pattern of death this is what i'm saying hear me it's like every specific time period you hear that someone has died every time period i don't know who the devil has programmed to be next but in the name of jesus for you and for your family oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory i declare you and your loved ones are delivered from death you and your loved ones are delivered from death you and your loved ones are delivered from death you and your loved ones are delivered from death hallelujah listen i don't know what may have happened around your life and i sympathize with you but please hear me you have a right to stand and insist i shall not die please say it one more time say i shall not die but leave and declare the works of the lord let the devil hear you i shall not die but leave and declare the works of the lord hallelujah hallelujah you may return back to your seat rejoicing we are still praying two more prayers i'm not sure we may have time to take testimonies my apologies if that does not happen you can always testify but hear me please hear me listen listen the number one reason why people rise in life is the favor of god the number one reason why people fail in life is the bankruptcy of favor you see the proof of the favor of god upon the life of an individual is not naira and kobo it's not pounds and dollars that is the proof of wisdom that is the proof of value the real proof of favor watch this the real proof of favor upon the life of an individual if you care to know is loyalty to the hearts of men that the hearts of men become loyal you see if you are given an opportunity to choose between money and men choose men a thousand times before you choose money money only has its value because of men there are many of us here you are in the midst of several helpers but the mantle of favor that will compel them to remember you is not there so you see i know this i know this one and they keep lifting distant relatives and people they do not know and yet you are in the midst of plenty do you know why because people do not just help they are made to help hallelujah let me show you a scripture and then we'll pray job 42 and verse 10 once upon a time in the life of this man the bible called him the wealthiest man in the east had wonderful children and tragedy broke and in one day he lost everything that mattered to him plus that he now had a terrible incurable infirmity that ate him up reduced him to become a shadow of himself job was so frustrated 
several people came from across the regions to sympathize with him his family left him and even the wife that he had the last person standing one time she said job i'm tired cause god and die it's easy to think she was a wicked woman until you know what it means to stand behind a man under a prolonged period of pain like that but something happened in job 42 and verse 10 i want you to see it and please do not forget this scripture the bible says and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job who gave job who gave job the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. But verse 11 tells us how it happened. It says, then came there unto him all his brethren. That means they were always there when he was suffering. But none of them came. That man sat alone with his wife. He had this many brethren. And yet none of them would attend to him. The Bible says, and his sisters and all they that were that had been of his acquaintance before the bible says and they eat they did eat bread with him in his house so they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought upon him i want you to read the last line if you are a christian one to read every man okay stop there read from every man the first five words that you see ready one to read every man also gave him one more time one more time so every man is a giver including the one who has refused to give to you the bible says under a certain condition every man this was a man who was crying and praying you would think he had no family imagine that person sitting somewhere in the island here you would pass him and say oh dear everybody you see roaming around the street has a family somewhere and god will always leave himself a witness but it is the favor that is on your life that will compel men this man is crying languishing in pain and all of those every men left him but when god was ready to give supernaturally they came they ate bread with him they identified with him and the bible says every man gave him every man including your uncle the one you think is stingy every man including the ceo don't just blame people and say they will not give me your prayer is lord the favor that will compel men i'm saying this because this is what i want to pray over you every man gave him a piece of money and every man gave him an earring of gold yet verse 10 will tell us it was god that gave him so god's system is always men god gave job twice but how did that twice manifest every man so when god wants to give you ah, rest roundabout he plants that rest in the hearts of men someone calls you from us and say you've been on my mind in the last three days you say no i'm not surprised i was in a conference the last three days do you believe what i'm telling you yes there are men in this season who will step into prepared blessings this is listen this is not just some carnal marketing of materialism the purpose for all of these things is so that we can have the time the liberty and the comfort to serve his purposes you will never be able to serve the purposes of the kingdom in poverty in pain satan uses the strategy of material distraction to make you to not be focused on that which is eternal so the way god cures that destruction is to make for abundant supplies according to second corinthians 9 and verse 8 he says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work 
not in the absence of sufficiency you're not going to be faithful in prayer church meeting when you have five children with no school fees there are bills there you are fighting to ensure you are not being called an irresponsible father or mother where will you have the time to lead prayers it distraction financial distraction and all kinds of things these have been effective tools that satan has used to derail people's passion towards god he said tell my people that they may go pharaoh let my people go that they may go and serve me they couldn't serve him effectively in egypt when they were under that taskmasters making straw and all of that but when they were left released they now could go and serve him can i pray for favor over someone father in the name of jesus you are the one who gave gifts to men you are the one who shows men favor you are the one who connects men to the hearts of kings in the name of jesus here at this conference standing in partnership with the grace upon this house and upon this commission i decree and declare for everyone who has been bankrupt of the favor of god begin to walk in the favor of god from today begin to walk in unusual favor extraordinary favor may god raise men for your sake raise men for your company raise men for your business in the name of jesus christ hallelujah when favor rests upon your life it can make for the book of remembrance you see the bible tells us that the works of men are being recorded in a book do you believe that and if your works have been recorded, it is archived for a time of honor when God will open and bless you. In the similitude of what happened to Mordecai, Mordecai saved the life of King Ahasuerus. It was archived, but he was not rewarded. Then the Bible says, and that night could not Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. When they opened the book, he found where Mordecai saved his life. Like you helped somebody who would have died. Like you are a lawyer who advocated for someone who now has an estate and yet there is no reward i'm praying for you whoever has forgotten you i call upon the god of my covenant that in this season may you be remembered for good may you be remembered for good may you be remembered for good in the name of jesus christ hallelujah can we pray in the spirit as we pray over the request please bring the request here can you help me sir someone is praying these egyptians that i see today i see them no more forever hallelujah in the name of jesus philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 this is the scriptural basis for what we're doing philippians 4 and verse 6 let's read together one to read be anxious the word careful there is anxious be careful for nothing it says here yeah? but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god you don't assume that because he's all-knowing after all he knows it is the responsibility dimension of your work with god the bible says let your request be made known whenever i pray for requests I pray because number one the Bible says so number two I pray because there is truly a covenant of answered prayer hallelujah and for those of you who care you may have heard my story when I had the honor and the privilege of lying and praying alone in the prayer room of our father and the Lord Baba Deboe my prayer unto God when I was there was not give me tea give me grace I said Lord whatever you have praised upon the head of our father that he will make decrees and say there is someone here may doors be open and doors open i said lord may that same grace and god had my prayer mantles have a location they don't just come from nowhere the bible says and without every contradiction the lesser is blessed of the greater you have a track record of keeping your word you're not a man to stand to make it now. Although I got it, you are right. Please just stretch your hands towards me.
you don't have to kneel i will do the kneeling and we're going to pray i want you to believe this i have seen phenomenal answers to prayers impossible situations you see no one is reading this you wrote it by yourself is the most accurate expression of your desires and the bible says unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come i am bowing before the god of heaven and as you begin to pray i like you to agree that the same hands that wrote this is the same hand that will receive the answer go ahead and begin to pray everyone pray in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray I want you to shout a believing amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every request here presented before the Lord that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever 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 in the name of jesus christ every financial issue here represented i call upon the god of heaven ebenezer even the helper of men let every financial shame and reproach be turned to a testimony every family issue here represented marriages that are about to tear apart or have torn and in need of reconciliation issues with children spouses in the name of jesus let there be restoration every career issue here represented in the name of jesus i decree and declare let there be testimonies let there be miracles let there be testimonies let there be miracles let there be testimonies let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ and hear me any long-standing issue that has been here for years for decades by the power that raised christ from the dead it comes to an end finally it comes to an end finally in the name of jesus therefore we decree and declare that the same hand that wrote this request may it be the same hand that receives a testimony for in jesus mighty name we pray for in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord